Here I'm showing you a, a sensitive test for copper ions. Copper ions have a color in aqueous solution and if the concentration is high enough, this is 0.2 molar, you can easily see the copper ions in solution. Well, if the solution is very dilute, then you may not be able to see the blue color. So here I've made dilutions of this copper sulfate solution and, and to my eye these are colorless. I have here some concentrated ammonia. It's aqueous and it has a pungent odor which you may recognize. Ammonia is commonly used in cleaning products like Windex has ammonia in it and the chemical formula is NH3. Ammonia will react with copper ions to produce a very vibrant blue color. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to test for copper ions in here and we'll look at the color that's developed. So here I'll add uh, five drops of the concentrated ammonia. One, two, three, four, five. And as I stir this you can see a very vibrant blue color appears and the intensity of this color is proportional to the concentration of the copper ions. So that happened to be 0 0.020 molar and now I'll try half that concentration. Same procedure, five drops. So that's blue but not as intense a blue as the previous. So this is a test you can use to determine whether your solution, which may appear colorless, in fact does contain copper ions. And I will leave these out as a standard of sorts. You can see the color lineup is uh, dependent on the concentration of the copper ions in the solution. If you're doing the color test, volume matters. So use one milliliter. You'll remember that the uh, pipette has a line in the middle. So this is one milliliter. And if you transfer that precise volume to your test tube, then this is great for the drops of ammonia, five drops of ammonia. So I will keep the concentrated ammonia in the fume hood here and the color standards in the fume hood. So when you're ready to test, I recommend you use the ammonia in the fume hood because it's smelly and compare your color to these color standards here. For this lab, it may be possible for you to use some acetone. I've placed acetone in these little red bottles here. They're labeled acetone. You can see the label says powerful fast drying thinner. So it's an alternative solvent and it's fast drying and you may have a reason to use this. If you think you do have a reason then talk to your instructor and your use may be approved.